2006 Chloe Sunnies, they were iconic. These are the modern take on these. You see the similarity? Oh no! Whoa, the glass is damaged. Oh well. Hair of Sunnies is actually these from Dolce & Gabbana. My boyfriend likes it, likes wearing them and all that. But I took them to the beach. Yes, I shouldn't have that. But I was like, I'm very careful. They got a little bit of um, salt water on them and the paint is coming off because I didn't know that salty water like chips paint away. I didn't know that. Just keep in mind if your Sonys have this kind of paint code. Back to when I was um, 18, they were on Teen Vogue. Okay, I was the victim of Teen Vogue. They made me do it. And yeah, I, I found them at the outlet in San Diego and I got them and I've worn them a lot, even though they're like a little annoying. But I like them, and they're like Mark by Mark Jacobs, which I think that died, no? I think that Mark by Mark, Mark, or Jacobs by Mark by Mark Jacobs is finito. And then when I grew up, <laughs> what the hell? What? Okay, like this, thank you. And yeah, these are Burberry. Yeah, simple, quiet. These could definitely go to a new home, like they, they don't spark joy to me personally not anymore you remember these prada ones oh i just can't i love them but not anymore that's what happens when fashion becomes so overdone i don't know like for example these are obnoxious but i love them i, I love the mood the vibe the picnic chic i love them and i'm never gonna get rid of them not in a million years. I even got a dress to match the sunnies. I'm always trying to find something gingham to, you know, match and match because I love match and match. And talking about match and match, I think I'm gonna put the photo of the shoes and the glasses so that you get an idea. I'm going to jump into the wild Prada territory because I think most of the wild sunglasses that I do have are Prada. I love them. These are the ultimate. Like I have to hide my actual brows so that these look cool. But they are so beautiful, like so high fashion. And so 2008, 2007, 2006, I don't remember, but they are so beautiful and they match my Miu Miu pumps perfectly. I'm gonna go into the wild flower poem sunnies that they match. They're, like, they, they're kind of like a continuation with these are spring summer and the fall winter shoes. They match perfectly, even more so than the shoes from this season. So I gave them a home. I reunited them and they live happily together. And those shoes from the same collection of those shoes. They were another version of the beaded pumps and I got me these because I thought they match perfectly and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna wear these to death. I haven't, but I love them. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love them and they match perfectly to those shoes and I have a lot of things to wear them with. I haven't and I just remembered myself to do it. Terrible. That's the thing when you are a hoarder, you kind of forget that you have certain things on your collection. But I never forget I have these. I just never do bring them out. But they're God, they're so loud. They are the brothers of the black ones, and they're so different, but they're kind of like the same. And the Mew Mew shoes that I'm gonna put here match perfectly, like kind of in an abstract way but I love them. They're so loud. They're like, mm, perfect. These, these are so cute. There were the hexagonals one. I don't think if I have the hexagonals one. I think I only have these ones, but they're so cool. They're so different. 
they are so sexy, they are males, my boyfriend would never wear these, but that's, I, I mean, he steals a lot of things from me already, and that's good because if he finds a lot of my closet is men's, he is gonna steal a lot of things. Another sunnies that I loved were from the Prada, kind of like the Hot Wheels collection, really retro, very retro Americana kind of a thing. Ooh, I love these and ah, they're so classic, but they have a twist. I wish I had the ones that really look like a, a car, but these will do. Were these from that collection? I don't know, these are Prada, they're men's, they're so simple, they still do them, but they were from the runway collection, I remember, I remember, like it was yesterday. I'm not a Ralph Lauren girl, I'm not, I haven't ever looked at their stuff, but there's a part of me that has always had this fascination with the western, the wild wild west vibe, and I found these. These are actually gold, gold plated, like white gold plated, and they have these beautiful leather details. These are men's. You know, we repeat the same story. These are my aviators. And that's kind of uh, the reason why I don't have a Ray Ban aviators is because these are more my vibe. But from the same collection, there were these. These were the girls with these. Um, metal tips with the embossing and and I love them so 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 much that I had to I had to get them in nude in this beautiful caramel color that would have looked beautiful with my with the blonde hair that I used to have the only human pair that I have is this beautiful beautiful so I was not, or I am not, a gold person, even though I have these gloves on, or a pink person, but these, oh, let me tell you, this feels like Barbie gone edgy, you know, you know what I mean, because they're called the rasoir, which is kind of like shaped, if you put them in like a flat surface, it looks like they are like sunken in, Beautiful, and I feel so glam, so fancy. Mm -hmm. From Prada, I have, this is like the case for their sport line. These are not from the sport line, but they can match, so I preferred these. They are so cool, and, and I have the shoes that match them perfectly. Can you see them? Beautiful. That's why I got these, and that's kind of why I got the shoes, because I was like, I need to bring them together, I have to keep them together, I need to save them. That's basically what goes through my mind. That, my friends, I think is all I have in my collection for today. I know I'm missing a pair of Chloe sunglasses, more pairs that I just don't have anymore, but this is basically what I still have. And I basically, my mom would say, no, Lizzie, you don't need a new pair of sunglasses every time I see a sunglass hut. In a department store where they have all these designer sunglasses, I don't need more signs. I always do. I think these are from Forever 21. I wanted to jump into the van wagon of the tinted glasses, and these are great for that. Um, anyways, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy taking a glimpse into the Lizzie's Sunglasses Hoarder Edition soon. My Margiela Hoarders Edition and my... Do you want to see my house? Like where it's at at the mall? Because I have accumulated a lot of things and I don't know if a haul... I can do a haul of everything I've done because mostly, most of the things are new-ish. Anyways. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, how did I forget? <laughs> As I was trying to clean up, to clean up that mess and that mess over there.
La Pieza is Bond, my Margiela Incognito. Thank God I just remembered. This is like a really battered, but remember, they're archived. Oh. This is how, this is what started my love for Margiela. This, sunglasses, yes, they are sunglasses. And they are like so. Like if I had been banned, my identity, gone so. Like, who's that girl? Who knows? She's, you cannot see her eyes. It's like banned. You remember the part when I mentioned that I get like a new identity? Or like my alter egos start jumping? I'm a Gemini. If that says anything to you. These give me that edgy vibe. And that, don't at me, also. 